May the triple gem bless you. You all are welcome to the second part of reflexive pronouns. Okay, first of all, I am going to remind you the uses of reflexive pronouns. In the first lesson, we discussed them. Okay, we use a reflexive pronoun as an object when the object is the same as the subject of the verb. So, you have to select the correct answer here. I looked at myself in the mirror. Right, what is the subject in this sentence? I is the subject, myself is the object there. So, the correct answer is the first one, Balan. Subject guy, object guy, they come a put like when We can't use this way. I looked at me instead of that. We have to use I looked at myself in the mirror. Okay, let's go to the second use. Well, we use a reflexive pronoun. At the end of the clause, when we are using it for emphasis, our darne karan, our reflexive pronoun pavichikarnava, right? You have to select the correct sentence here. Let's go to the second sentence. He repaired the car himself. On ea visimatamai karika repair kale. Yes. Let us select that answer. He repaired the car himself. Good. This is the third use of reflexive pronouns. By plus reflexive pronoun. Yes, we often use by plus reflexive pronoun when we want to say that someone does something alone or without any help from others. Anungging udawak nativa taniyam karanava mamanam mavisim. Right. There are three sentences. You have to select the correct one. Right. Let us take the third one. I made this kite by myself. There you can find the word by plus myself. I made this kite by myself. Okay. Let us go to an activity taken from your workbook. Yes, this is the question. Choose the correct reflexive pronouns for the given spaces. Workbook activity, page number 12. So, turn to the page number 12. Yes, let us get it started. Right, the first one. Mother cleaned the body compound by before conducting the body puja. Right, mother, a female person. So, what is the correct subject pronoun we can use there? Mother for mother, she. So, what is the reflexive pronoun we can use there? Yes, it should be herself. Yes, mother cleaned the body compound by herself before conducting the body puja. Second one, please make at home while you wait for my parents. Yes, what is the reflexive pronoun we can use there? Yes, please make yourself at home while you wait for my parents. Here, you is a singular. Right. Then let us go to the third one. I poured a cup of tea. I poured myself a cup of tea. Here you can see the subject I is the same as the object myself. Right, I poured myself a cup of tea. Yes, let us go to another. Some people are very selfish. They only think of ego lo, ego lo They only think of 
right. First of all, we have to find this uh, subject pronoun here, some people. Instead of some people, we can use the subject pronoun, they. So, the correct reflexive pronoun is themselves, right. This is the fifth one, we have never met before, so we introduce to each other, yes, ourselves we introduce ourselves. Here the object is same as the subject. Yes. Number six, I was in a hurry, so I washed the car myself. On the mama mamta my car wash kare say the way. I was in a hurry so I washed the car myself. We use reflexive pronoun to show the emphasis. Number seven, my mother had gone to visit my grandfather, so I prepared lunch. Mama mata my own lunch, take a head away, so I prepared lunch myself. Again, the writer wants to emphasize, so I prepared lunch myself. Mama had to then number eight, little children must not go out by yes, themselves. They should not go out alone. We use by plus reflexive pronoun to say that something is done by someone alone. Again, there is an activity taken from a text from your textbook. The activity number is 9, page number 56. Yes, this is the question. Fill in the blanks with the correct reflexive pronouns. Right, the first question. When Rabbi Sir, you will have to do your homework by, yes, yourself. You will have to do homework by Oyavi Taniyam Karanon. The one say Taniyam homework Karanon. Right. Then the second one, I introduced to my new friend. I introduced myself to my new friend. Here, the reflexive pronoun has been used as the object. When the object is the same as the subject, I introduce myself to my new friend. Mama yaal wata mamu hadun na duna. Right then number three, students, can you arrange the class? Oyogol lantam pulwan the karan nikila teacher hanama. Yourselves. Here you is plural. Question number four, the chief incumbent decided to repair the to repair the temple, yes, himself, avadar nekala. Right, then number five, we can move the pulpit by onna apatama karana puluang, dharma isaniya ihaata karana puluang. Ourselves, we can move the pulpit by ourselves. On that's why we use by plus reflexive pronoun there. Number six, you don't need to help them; they can do it by yes themselves. They can do it by themselves. By themselves, show that they can do it alone without the help of others, right. I saw in the mirror, I saw myself in the mirror, yes. Number eight, you published the notice of the SIL program today, right. Yourself. The purpose is to show emphasis. Avadar nikaran. To emphasize. 
you publish the notice of the SEAL program today yourself. Okay, right? Again, we find another activity that is taken from your workbook. So, go to the page number 12. Yes, this is the question. Rearrange the given sentences meaningfully. Yes, the first one. First of all, we have to find the subject here. Is there a person there? Yes, that is Udara. So, after this subject, let us try to find a verb. Yes, the verb is made, it is a password. Udara made. What did he make? A sonnet. It is a kind of poem, right? Udara made a sonnet about nature, Sabadharma Gana, by himself, right? We can understand that he has done it alone, by himself. Okay, if we go to the second one, the person, the doer, let us select the doer, I, verb, repaired, what did? I repair my car. Yes, yesterday, myself. Right, here the reflexive pronoun is used to show the emphasis. I repaired my car yesterday, myself. Right, this is the third one. What is the subject here? Who is the doer there? the elephant. Yes? What is the verb? Bait. Alia neva. Quid. In river. Apitakian nona taniyama tamai nevi. By itself. Yes. The elephant bait in river by itself. Number four. What is the subject there? You, verb, can answer. You can answer what utterly and puluang. For what? The questions. You can answer the questions by yourself. You can answer the questions by yourself. Right? Number five. Yes. There is a remaining part that is now. You can answer the questions by yourself now. Right. Number five. The subject is the children. Let us select a verb. Made. What did they make? Sand castles on a valley. Maligara Pihadanava Valley. The children made sand castles by themselves. Here the children, instead of children, we can use the subject pronoun they. So the relevant reflexive pronoun is by themselves. Right. Here is another question. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of pronoun. Right, you have to decide whether to put object pronoun or the reflexive pronoun. Okay, are you ready? Let's get this started. The first question, the teacher helped. Again, what's the subject? The teacher, what's the verb? Helped. So, immediately after the verb, we have to put an object. So, what is the object here? The teacher helped Udavkara Guru Tumaho Guru Tumiya Mata. So, let us find out the object pronoun of I. Yes, it is me. The teacher helped me. Right, let us move to the second one. You can see a difference there. I looked at in the mirror. Kanna diem belua mama dihama. Okay, I is the subject, looked at is the verb then there should be an object. 
calling avi pavichi kara me kiyala but here can we use me no we have to use a reflexive pronoun there because the subject is i ukte ai karme ai dennam ek ek kenek nam onna apita pavichi karanne wenne reflexive pronoun ekak so what may be the answer i looked at myself in the mirror yes did you understand the difference between the first and the second right okay let's go on sagar is a disabled person abai the putgalek sagar kiyanne everybody helps oh tai udaw karanne let's use the objective pronoun of object pronoun of he what's that everybody helps him number 4 they enjoyed at the party e gollum thama satutune right again object is the same as the subject they enjoyed themselves e gollum thama satutu wenne wenat kenek nevi they enjoyed themselves at the party so let's use the reflexive pronoun themselves they are next one the kitten cleaned right may i ask a question what's the subject pronoun we can use instead of this the kitten it's it so what may be the reflexive pronoun there the kitten cleaned yes itself mokada us petiya pirisudu karagatte e aawamai not someone else the kitten cleaned itself okay number 6 the teacher is in the classroom please meet apida hamu wenna thiyenne teacher thamai instead of teacher habai here the teacher is a male person the teacher is a male person so what's the object pronoun of he yes it is him please meet him oh hamu wen number 7 your mother is very kind yes we know mothers are kind yes your mother is very kind i like mama kamathi ayat yes what's the object pronoun of she it is her yes number 8 she looked at in the mirror kannadin ya e desama aya beluwa she looked at yes can can we use her here no because of the subject is the she subject is the she then the object should be a reflexive pronoun she looked at herself in the mirror kannadin e desama thamai beluwe yes you know girls always look at themselves in the mirror okay right then number 9 they are my friends i study with yes my friends there are a lot of people when we consider it as a subject we can use they so they are my friends i study with them own samaga thamai study karanne number 10 did you do it all by eka kale oba visimmada did you do it all by yourself here you is singular otherwise we have to use yourselves if it was plural here you is singular did you do it all by yourself number 11 my pet is a cat i always play with it because the object pronoun of it is also the same it right number 12 arun and hirun promise to decorate the main hall by yes themselves thaniye me gollom thamai arun and hirun there are two persons so the subject pronoun is they 
So the relevant reflexive pronouns should be themselves. Right, number 13, I'll give the message to they. They is the subject pronoun. In the place of the object, we have to use the object pronoun. What's that? I'll give the message to, yes, check the answer. I'll give the message to them. Okay, right. Here is an another activity. Rearrange the words to form meaningful sentences. Number one, I, yes, what is the subject in this sentence? The doer. Who is the doer here? Yes, let's write I. Then the verb. Is there a word ending with ed? So, you know that's a past verb. What's that? Cleaned. I cleaned. What did I clean? Yes, the room. The last part, myself. We use reflexive pronoun to show the, the emphasis to show the emphasis. I clean the room myself. Number two. First of all, we have to find the subject here. What's the subject here? Is it you? Yes, you. Then let's select a verb. What's that? Must do. Kala yutu ikiyanava. You must do, yes, you must do homework. By yourself. That means alone. You must do homework without the help of others. You must do homework by yourself. Number three. The first thing we have to do is to find the subject. What's the subject here? My mother. Then can you find the verb? Yes, there's a past verb. I can see. You also can see. What's the answer? My mother herself baked this cake. Right. We can change the position of the reflexive pronoun when it is used to show emphasis. You can write this sentence either this way, my mother herself baked the, this cake or what's the other way? My mother baked this cake herself. Okay, number four. Yes, the subject. The child, a verb, heard. Let me add a riduna. Himself, oh, to my riduna. The heard, the child heard himself. Yes, what's the situation? What's, uh, yes, while playing cricket, cricket, sellankar karin ataratura. The child hurts himself. E ata my riduna. The subject is the child. The subject pronouns we can use there is he. So the reflexive pronoun would be himself. Number five. Yes, what's the subject? He. Verb washes. What does he wash? That's the object, his car, himself, always in mind. He washes his car himself. The writer wants to emphasize he. This is a sentence written in simple present. He generally does this. He washes his car himself. 
Yes. Number 6. Now check your answer. The subject you. Yes. There is an adverb for frequency always. Nitharama. You always think. We use adverbs of frequency in between subject and the verb. You always think or nitharam hitanama about. Kavaganada or nitharam hitani. On tamaganamanam yourself. Right. Number seven. Again, we have to find the subject. Karanakena hoyan known. The doer. Right, who is the doer? The principal. Right. Then the verb, the principal himself punished the disobedient students. Right. The principal punished the, the disobedient students himself. Right. We can again change the position of the reflexive pronoun because this is used to show emphasis. Apita was a principal who is a punishment. Disobedient students. Who are disobedient students? Yes, Aki I know you all are obedient students. Okay, we have come to the end of reflexive pronouns part two video. I know that you all can write sentences with reflexive pronouns by yourselves. Okay, we hope to meet you with another interesting English lesson. Thank you for joining us. May the Triple Gem bless you.